<laughs> hey guys, coming at you from a different angle because I realized that the light from the window works a lot better on this bookshelf than that bookshelf. Samantha and a ton of books that have been sitting down in my basement waiting to get donated for too long. So I've got 35 books I'm excited to get rid of. Still have allergies so my apologies. Uh, yeah we're just gonna we're, we're gonna push through it because I'm still upset about that. <laughs> Anyways I'm gonna get started with an unhaul. Most of these books are going to end up on my Etsy shop. I do a blind book date box. So if you if you watch this video, you might as well go to my Etsy and buy a blind book date because you know it's gonna be one of these books. And if you're interested in any of these books, that's where they be. So um, yeah, go ahead. I will link my Etsy down below. Anyways, let's get started. Uh, first, I don't know if anyone knows anything about Warhammer but me and my husband play it it's a play it it's a tabletop game based if i were to do like the most simplest most basic and my husband's gonna hate me for saying this it is like a sci-fi fantasy futuristic tabletop game um and they have a book series that goes with it uh, and lots of other books that like come with it like background books and one of them i purchased all of them they're all down there on the other bookshelf. I will show you guys later if you're interested. Um, however, I'm going to be getting rid of Cyphus Kane, Choose Your Enemies, Warhammer 40k. This one I just bought two of on accident because that happens. So this is what I'm doing. Getting rid of this one. Um, next is going to be Severance by Ling Ma. Um, I don't have the dust cover for this. It got ripped. I've moved like three times since having this book. It happens. Anyways, uh, yeah, Severance by Ling Mei. I didn't get it. I don't get parodies, I don't get satire. Did not get this book. Apparently it's really great though. So just so you guys know, that's another book I'm unhauling. <sighs> Next, and like, I was super excited to get these books. However, I missed this trend. I like, I don't know what happened. I guess I blacked out on BookSoup. Didn't watch the videos about this. Didn't watch the Netflix movie but it's the To All The Boys I've Loved Before series. Look, oh my gosh, it still has the cardboard from the uh, book box it came in, because I bought the whole series. They're like, I'm gonna read all these, and then I'm gonna watch the Netflix movies. No, no you're not. You're going to have these sit on your shelf for forever, and then in a box downstairs for forever. Um, yeah, see, yeah, love that for me. Anyways, um, it's the whole series. Those will be getting unhauled. Next, Iron gold by pierce brown i read red rising absolutely fell in love with it love it love it love it would recommend it to a lot of people um then i read golden sun and that's actually in this pile too i didn't like it at all i didn't get it i tried it twice i tried it once physically once with an audiobook and physically and i didn't get it and i'm really mad because i really wanted to like i really like the world and i really wanted to read more of it but i just couldn't gonna get past it so I'm donating the iron gold I actually have the dust cover for this one I'll show you with my other bookshelves that I take the dust covers off because that's a trend right now that I'm into next I'm going to get rid of cinder and scarlet by Marissa Meyer Meyer I love this book so I remember way back when I read this book and I loved it and then I didn't read any of the other ones because life happens and so I wanted to get back into it I bought this I rebought this book for like the third freaking time and I didn't even read it. And I was like, well, you know what? Well, maybe I should read the second book. I bought it. I never read it. So those are going to be donated. Next is going to be The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. Once again, this is just a book I bought um, second. Like, I bought two copies of it. 
read this, loved this. This was when I was getting into romance. This is like one of the first few books I read that was romance. So I don't know if I'd still love it or not. However, I loved it. Um, bed sharing trope is a big one in here. And yeah, I read it in one setting and laughed and squealed. If I squeal during a romance book, you know it's good. Hopefully some of these logs when I'm reading a romance book, you will see the squealing and the excitement on my face because that's my favorite part about reading romance. I don't know about you, but it is for me. Next, Flame in the Mist. So Renee Adier, hopefully I said that name correctly. I read The Wrath and the Dawn and the other, like I read that duo, that duology. I'm sorry, I forget what they, they both are. Loved it, decided to go on her backlist and read more from her. I just didn't like it. I only got like maybe that much in. I just didn't like it, so I just put it down. I'm not afraid to DNF a book, by the way. I'm not about to waste my time on a book that I'm not that interested in when I've got so many other books to read. I'll show you my TBR shelf later too. Next one is 13 Reasons Why. I just really don't see myself ever reading this book again. And also, I don't like this edition. I don't have the dust cover. Bought it without it, it was a used book. Um, Tin Foil Butterfly. I read, this came, actually this actually came in a book box. I never picked this out. I wanted a horror book once again. I like to try different genres and I don't normally read horror anymore. I used to read it all the time when I was a teenager because angst is a thing. Um, so I thought, oh, I'll get their horror book box, see what they have, Tinfoil Butterfly is what they had and I didn't like it at all. So, didn't even think that one. I didn't get it. I think that's part of the reason why I don't like some books. Like, I just don't get it. Someone please enlighten me. Uh, maybe I'm just a stupid reader. I just don't get it. Um, this one is Nocturnes by John Connolly. Uh, it's just like a short story. Uh, what is it called when they put them all together? Allergies are kicking my ass. Um, but it's all the short stories all put together. There's a word for that. Oh Lord, help me. Put it down below. Tell me in the comments what the word is for that. Books and Lala reads them all the time. She loves them. I, however, don't. I, I like one big long story. That's Oathbringer. <laughs> one big long story is what I prefer over a bunch of tiny little ones. Next book. Red Sparrow. Once again, it came in a book box. It was a blind book date. I did it. I thought about reading it, but I do this thing where I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna read this thriller. Ooh, I'm gonna read this horror book. Oh, I'm gonna try something different. And it just doesn't always turn out well. I just didn't like it. I don't know what to tell you about that one. Um, the Bad Beginning by a Series of Unfortunate Events. I rebought all of these books in hardcover. This is just an old school paperback. God, this like throws me back. Look how big the text is. <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. But yes, so that's gonna go. Um, this one still has a sticker on it because I am, I have my life together, that's why. And this one is Keeper of the Lost Cities, Exile. This is the second book. I haven't read the first book. I actually gave the first and second book to my niece. And this is a one I bought two on accident. I really have a bad habit of doing that, obviously, I'm just realizing. But I'm gonna go ahead and get that rid of this one as well. Um, Arch Enemies, I read Supernova. It was okay, it was decent. I got this book because it was on sale put it on my bookshelf and then realized that I'm just not interested in, in continuing on with the series. So Arch Enemies is going away. I love these covers though. I like blues and reds and pinks and blues and greens and grays. I love these covers. They are awesome. Okay. Um, Golden Sun. We already discussed this. I have a grudge against this book now. I really wanted it to be good, but no, it wasn't. Um, next book was a gift, and bless everyone who gives me books as gifts, but sometimes it just doesn't work out, because once again, I don't like thrillers, and I don't like mysteries, and I don't like horror, and this book still has a sticker on it, because that's, that's life. Brad Meltzer, the escape artist, I don't even know what this is about, but it's going somewhere to somebody else who will love all of the thriller, horror, horror, mystery books. Master and Commander by Patrick O'Brien. Read this book way long ago. I love nautical adventure books. It's kind of like the niche that I 
adore. I will always read. I'm currently reading the Ship of Magic Robin Hobbs series because uh, Peru's project mentioned it, said that she loved it. I had to pick it up. I'm in love, um, but I just outgrew this. So Master and Commander is going somewhere else, to somebody else. Hopefully a young girl who loves nautical adventure books like I do. Um, Stephen King, The Long Walk. I don't like Stephen King. Crucify me. That's fine. I don't like Stephen King. I find his characters to be like gross creepy, not like okay creepy, like gross creepy. Like, why are you picturing your mom's boobs while you're walking to your death? It's really weird. I don't like it. So The Long Walk is going to somebody else who likes Stephen King. Also got this book and I thought I was going to get the really cool cover. It's blue with the black sneaker on it. And I wanted those covers when I was like, oh, I'm going to read a bunch of Stephen King because that's what everyone does. No, don't like this at all. Um, Outlander. I just bought the bigger cover because this is mass market paperback, which I don't have any issues with. I just bought the big flopsy one. And I need to reread it. Say what you will. I like it. Um, this one is called Quicksilver. This is a mythology retelling. I never really got... Ooh, other side. I'm a noob still. Um, I never really got into it. I never really read it. It sounds really, really, really interesting though. So, whoever gets this. Yay! George Eliot, The Mill on the Floss. This is another one that someone just gifted to me because they knew I read classics. Never got around to it. Don't feel like getting around to it. So if you like classics, I got this one. I also have... Queen of the Conquered, which came in a book box as well. Just haven't gotten around it. <laughs> it still has the cards in it. Maybe I'll keep those in there. I don't know. Just not, just never got around to it. Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I'll actually read it. Maybe you think I should put it down below because I've heard good things about it. I just haven't read it. Awesome. The Thin Executioner by Darren Shan. Like I said, angsty teen me. Loved horror books, loved vampire books. Darren Shan was a thing for a very long time. This is the third time I have bought this book in, with the intent to read it, and I have not, and I just need to give it up. I just need to give it up. So lots of people are getting, have like really cheap editions of these because of me, because I buy them and then I give them away. Anyways, Darren Shan is still OG, still OG. Fight me. Next is going to be Covenant Covenant of the Vampire. I liked this book a lot when I read it. I remember, once again, in the whole vampire phase. I liked it a lot. I think I was getting rid of it because I need the book space, like the, the bookshelf space. Whoever gets this and reads it, tell me if you like, hear about this. If I'm not wrong, if I remember correctly. Next is Tweet Cute. I discovered, once again, my romance phase. Discovered I'm not into YA romance don't like it don't want to read it I'm too old now I've got wrinkles <laughs> I'm way too old so um, this is actually supposed to be a really good book I'm excited for whoever gets to read this after me uh, Leviathan I like this first book I will never get around to reading the series and I know it but Scott Westerfield once again angsty teen me loved the ugly series OG I don't care I tried to reread it it was awful I don't care <laughs> it was good but I remember it being good, and that's all that matters to me. It's the nostalgia, I guess. Um, Leviathan is also a really good one by him. It's very like steampunkish, uh, and it's a good YA book, and it has like drawings in it. I mean, I would recommend it to people who like it, who like World War II war steampunk YA books. I might just don't take out the photos of it and the drawings in it. It's cool. This one's a cool one, just FYI. Just not ever gonna read the entire series. The so, Curse by Joyce Carol Oates. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Joyce Carol Carol o Ugh. Joyce Carol Oates is like a Stephen King like level writer. Like she, it's like historically she like has written a bunch of books and publishers know her and she's a thing. I didn't know that when I picked this book up. I'm never gonna get around to it. It is very long. Very small print. Um, from my understanding, I kind of went back and I read the Goodreads reviews. It's this book has like, this is my lowest rating book. It has two stars and it 
and that's what people say that it's very dry um this isn't gonna end up in a book box good lord you guys are all gonna think i'm gonna put these awful books in book boxes i promise i will not do that to you i won't do that to you if i don't think it's good i'm just gonna donate it donate it and hopefully someone picks it up for like a buck and doesn't even care that it's not good or likes that kind of thing but i love this cover Ugh, i just want this cover i need it framed i'm gonna cut this out like delete all this and like frame this because i love the cover that's probably what made me buy it a cover buy who would have thought who does that <laughs> oh my gosh the next oh we're getting into like two books that you guys might crucify me for james s a Corey leviathan wakes first off once i love this cover pink blue gray white love it mm. um heard good things about this book Went to go read it and you think i would like the space opera books because i do read warhammer and it kind of gives off the same vibe however i didn't vibe with this main character at all we did not get along i didn't vibe with him didn't get him not gonna read him not gonna read about him um this stayed on my this stayed on my bookshelf for the longest time just because i love i love the way it looks i'm gonna pass it on though hopefully someone else loves it it has a tv series now like i said the Prue's project is actually reading it this week and she says it's amazing and I wanted to like it so bad but I just don't get the main character we don't vibe it makes me sad I hate not liking books that everyone else likes it's disappointing ah the name of the wind by Patrick Rothfuss all my fantasy love did I mention I'm a noob to this my camera cut off so I only got like two books left we're gonna power through, we're gonna power through the sniffling. We're gonna power through the clouds outside. We're gonna power through all the issues of this video so I can finish these last two books and call it a day. Um, all my fantasy lovers are going to hate me and they're gonna say that I don't like fantasy because I don't like this book. And it's the same issue with like Leviathan Wakes. I just don't vibe with this main character. I don't vibe with any of these characters. I, I have to have some sort of like feeling with the characters to want to read a book about them. I can't just be like, oh no, I don't like the character, no. So, The Name of the Wind did not do it for me. It didn't do it for me. Hopefully the person who gets this in a book box, because this is actually a really good book that people love, um, will enjoy it more than I. I know, Dean Koontz, The Whispering Room, last book. Same issue, I saw the sticker on it. I'm just not into the thrillery, it's not even thriller. Sometimes it's just like the detective crime novels. I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't want to read them. If I wanted to do that, I would watch Criminal Minds or CSI or I'd turn on my girl Bailey Sarian and I'd watch her put her makeup on and read about some and watch some show. I don't like reading about it. It's, it doesn't get my blood pumping like all these other books. So that is all. It's about 35 books. Like I said, I'm not going to put all of these on my Etsy because I'm not going to torture somebody with a bad book. Um, however it's a popular book if i liked it i'm just getting rid of it if it is something that i think someone else would find more intriguing i will put it in my etsy shop with my blind book date hopefully you guys can guess which are which since now you can have a base if you watch the video and you are getting going to my etsy and buying books i would super appreciate because it's just gonna go back to me buying more books and who doesn't like to buy more books if you guys get me you get me <laughs> Um, anyways, thank you so much for listening to me ramble about books for like 20 minutes and hopefully you will subscribe to get more content, planning on doing a couple of vlogs, seeing how that goes for me, good lord, seeing the wrap up at the end of the month when I talk about all the books I'm going to read, if I finish Oathbringer, <laughs> um, and what I thought about like the love hypothesis. Once again, that romance. Or if we have the flame has some romance in it. That'll be a good one. Alright, anyways, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.